Hello YouTubers, it's Ronnie Henson here in Southwest Oklahoma. Today I've got a tip for you. If you've got a John boat or a two-man bass boat and you've got your trolling motor set up on the front, you're definitely going to need a rudder because if you don't and you're operating a trolling motor from the front of one of these little small boats like this Pelican 10-foot uh, boat, it will just turn around on you and it's aggravating and it uh, disturbs your fishing. So what I did was, is I made a uh, rudder. And you'll see a lot of people making rudders on uh, YouTube. This is just my version of a rudder. It keeps the back stable. It allows the boat to track straight. Uh, and there's some special features that I built into this one that helps me where I fish at. And I'll kind of show it to you. This is made out of scrap steel right here. This is a piece of steel plate. This right here is an old sucker rod that I had laying around. This right here is just a bracket that I built. And on the bracket, I well, I drilled two holes and, and uh, I took me some lag bolts, cut them off, modified them, and put a handle on them so I can tighten it. That fits over the back of the transom. And then you take these and you just turn them and it snugs it up. It goes on like so. And then once you get it snug, you're good to go. This could actually ride there while I'm driving down the road. It doesn't fall off. Everyone's saying, well, what's so special about that? The thing about this one is, is that I've got it on a pivot. When you go over shallow ground or you go over rocks, you don't have to go back over there and try to raise this up. And for those guys on YouTube that's mounting these things on there permanently, that, that's just a problem waiting to happen because when you hit something, and eventually you will hit something, it's going to damage your back transom on your John boat or it's going to rip the uh, uh, rudder off or, or something. So what I did was is I just put it on a swivel right there and it swivels up. I go over it, it comes back down, go over it, it comes back down. This right here is an awesome thing to have on this little bass boat. And there's two other items that, that you will need. There's a million videos on how to modify these boats and build decks and all kinds of stuff. I ain't into all that. All I want to do is go out there and fish, fish comfortably. You will ha also have to have a paddle. I see a lot of guys in there that are getting the small paddles. Don't do that because you're going to use this as a push pole too. You get up into shallow water or you need to push off of rocks or you need to push off of a stump. You're going to need one that's at least five foot. And that's what this one is here. This is a five foot. And I picked this up at the Academy. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a five foot and it's from the Academy. The last item that you're gonna need is an anchor. A lot of people get those 15 pound mushroom anchors and they don't work. I'm just telling you right now, you can throw them out there and in Oklahoma, like today we have 17 to 22 mile an hour winds. Even on a 10, 10 mile per hour day, the, it, that drags you all over the place. So what I recommend, and you get whatever you want, but what I recommend is, is one of these. Get you one of these right here. Make sure that you got about three feet of chain on it. And make sure that it's hooked to a good rope. And the trick to make this anchor work is, is that you have to have the cord twice the depth of the water. If you're in 10 feet, you need 20 feet of cord. If you're in 15, you need 30 and so on and so on. So what I do is, is I take this, I wrap it around it, I put a, a, a cinch knot and then I burn it so that it can't slide through. And I also take an O-ring, I cut it, put the chain on it, put it back together, and I tack weld it. That way there's no way that this thing's gonna come loose. So, so these are the three items that I have for my little two-man bass boat. They work awesome. It, it makes for a fun day on the water. I can anchor up. I don't have to worry about tearing this up. And this is fixed. I don't, I don't, it, you want it perfectly straight so that the boat tracks straight. Now, if you're running the trolling motor from the back, you don't have to worry about a rudder. But if you're like most bass fishermen, you like to fish from the front, control your trolling motor from the front, you're gonna to wanna to build something like this. 
This is a little overkill right here. This little hinge up here come from a hardware store. All it is is a gate hinge uh, that I modified and tack welded to the bracket. That's all that is. I think it cost me $4.99 at uh, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. But this is a solid rod and I like, I like it heavy because I, I want it to come back down when it, on its own. I don't want to have to be back here jacking with it. And this is just the perfect weight for this thing to slide over a log or rock or shallow bottoms and then come back into its normal position. Guys, I want to thank everybody uh, that has uh, left comments on my YouTube channel, like my videos, and subscribe to my videos. I can't thank you guys enough. I haven't applied for money for YouTube or none of that, and I don't, I don't intend to do that because this isn't my intent. I don't want to make any money off this deal. I just like giving people tips that work for me, and hopefully that it will work for you. And there's a lot of variations out there. Sometimes it's good to get another perspective on what people do uh, and how they do it. But again, thank you for all the kind words, the comments. Leave me some comments, uh, even if they're bad. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I enjoy talking to them because I don't have all the answers. So if there's a better way of doing this or you have any comments in reference to how I got this deal set up, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you like this YouTube video, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate that. And I want everybody to have a blessed day. And thank you so much for watching my videos.